This is the delightful television star and Alan Ludden's gin rummy nemesis, <laughs> Betty White. <laughs> Thank you. And this is my partner, Jolene Muller, from South Plainfield, New Jersey. This is the gifted actor and charming Broadway and television star, George Grizzard. Hello, this is my partner, Dick Friedman, from Great Neck, New York, and we're all here to play Password. Yes, it's Password. Now, here's your host on Password, Alan Ludden. Good afternoon. Thank you. It's good to have you with us. Hello, George. Hello, Alan. Hello, Betty. Hello, Alan. Where'd they find out about our gin rummy game? I don't know. Somebody's a blabbermouth. <laughs> you know, she really does beat me. She is a... What is the score now, Betty, as if you didn't 10, know? 10,247. But I'm not really counting. <laughs> We've been having a running score ever since we got married. She's 10,000 points ahead of me. I cannot catch up with her. She's a great... great Jim Rummy plays. We live a glamorous life, folks. <laughs> Hello, Julaine. Hi, Alan. What does your husband do? Oh, he's a plant manager for a pallet company. Good. Nice to have you back here. Thank you. Password. George, let's talk about. You know I can't hear you when the water's running. Right. That's your hit you show. Right today. Yes. Your hit show playing at the Ambassador Theater. Who else is in it? Tell our friends who else is in it with you. Uh, Martin Balsam, yes. Eileen Heckert, They're Joe great. Silver, and Melinda Dillon. They're just five of us. Yeah. Mm. Five of you in four of the most delightful, funny, but kind of sad plays. They're great plays by Robert Anderson. I recommend it hardly, don't you, Betty? Oh, yes. Hello, Dick. Hello. Let's see. Do you have any hobbies? Yes, I do. I sail in my spare time, and I also program computers for medical problems when oh, I have a chance. Really? Yes. I know you're a medical student, so that should be quite an interesting application. Certainly. We'll start password in just a moment right now. Here is the message. All right, you ready to go, ladies? Yes, sir. Okay, Betty White, George Grizzard, as they look at it, we'd like you to see the word. The password is broth. Ten points, Betty. See if you can get Jolaine Muller to say that word. And you'll have to start the game off. Gruel. What did you say? I didn't, I didn't hear you. Gruel. Gruel. Growl. Gruel, growl. No. Nine points, George. She's playing defensively again. Yeah. Why not? Um, bouillon. Soup. Soup. No. Eight points, Betty. Chicken broth. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Gruel is, has, has a texture like oatmeal, I always thought oh, of. Oh, does it? Yeah. Oliver Twist one. Yes. Oh, well, it's I don't Mike care for oatmeal either, so maybe that's why I've never tried it. She doesn't eat though. those things. Dick and Joe Lane. I was going to say cyst. Cyst and broth, but I didn't even know. The password is monument. Forget that whole exchange. All right, ten points, Dick. Washington Monument? Yes! Very good. I don't think I would have said monument after Washington like that. That was a very good DC response. DC is two words, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I would have thought of. All right. Betty and George have the new word. We'd like you to see it. The password is cringe. Okay, Betty, 10 points. See if you can do this on 10 points. Cower. Coward? No. no. She said cower. Cower. Five seconds, Jolene. Shirk? Shirk? No. <laughs> Nine points, George. Um, shrink. Afraid? Afraid? No. Eight points, Betty. Um, uh, dog. Shudder? Shudder? No. Seven points, George. Um, um, Five seconds. Afraid. Scared. No. Six points, Betty. Uh, uh, cower. Five seconds, Julaine. Crawl. Crawl. No. Five points, George. Uh, I, I, I'm very bad at this one. Um, uh, shirk. Uh, Five seconds, Dick. Scared. Nope. Four points, Betty. Shrink. Cringe. That's it. <laughs> what gave it to you? You just added them all up, huh? I looked at you. Oh, you looked at me? 
<laughs> he had given them away again. There you are. I didn't give it away at all, did I? Don't I have say to that. fight the whole family this No, week. no, you don't. I don't know. You really. just saw. You, you just saw him acting cringe. Cringe, but you added them all up and got it. I don't know why I asked. All right. 12 to 10, but I certainly didn't tell you or no. give you any. All right. Dick and Jolene have the new word. As they look at it, we'd like you to see it. The password is waste. 10 points, Dick. Garbage. Trash. Trash. Nine points, Jolene. Basket. Waste. Yes. Good. 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 The ladies have 21, the men have 10, and now here. 21 points. The men have 10 points, and I hadn't, didn't have the word. I thought I did. There you go, George, you start. Betty, you can win on that, as they look at it. The password is turn. 10 points, George, give you 20. Hairpin hat. Hairpin hat. Nine points, Betty. Give me the game. Curve. Safety pin. No, that's two words. Eight points. Give you 18, George. Uh, left hand <coughs> turn. I'm sorry. Left hand is two words, disallowed. The response was proper, but I must throw the word out because you got it on an illegal clue. Sorry, so, uh, doctor, I got away with hairpin. I thought I could. Yeah. <laughs> Left hand is two words. All right, 10 to 21. New word coming out. Here's my man. Hi there. Okay, George, new word. One word clues. Betty, friends. The password is birth. 10 points, George. Uh, um, upper birth. Yes! Boy, upper birth. You could have said lower, you know. All right, 20 to... Oh, wait, I was going to say denture. <laughs> You're going to say denture? <laughs> well, all right, Jolene, you can win on that. Dick, you can win on that. And as they look at it. The password is leaf. Ten points. Jolene will give you the game. Big. Leaf. Yes. Oh, I would have said no. Well, Newton would be a proper name, you oh. see. We wouldn't use Newton as a password, I don't think. That's it, but it, it almost slipped out before yeah. I thought of but it. But you thought and said Leaf and Jolene, you have just won $100. You're going to play the lightning round now with Bad. Betty White. You ready, Betty? Yes, sir. One minute. First word, go. Smile. Grin. That's yeah. Right. Uh, uh, arrow. Ball. Board. Target. Wall. Spear. Uh, pointed. Knife. Throw. Dart. Yes. Um, uh, hit. Run. Smite. Slap. Uh, baseball. Bat. Uh, three. Strike. Right. Yes. Um, forever. Eternity. Love. Uh, 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 ever. Eternal. Eternal. Constant for ever. Um, there you go. The next word. Um, Five seconds. All right. Next word. Cry. Laugh. Yes. <laughs> always. always. <laughs> Forever. Always. I'll be loving you. That's what I tried to do. <laughs> she was right? trying to sing always. Yeah. The Irving Berlin yeah. song. Yeah. I was thinking of her other. <laughs> yeah, we have music and everything. <laughs> All right, Jolene, you have won $300. Dick, we have $350 from your game yesterday. Thank you both for playing Pastor with us, and good luck to you both. You don't let me win a game before the week's over. <laughs> you won day before yes, yesterday. Yeah. All right. And now, back to Password and Alan Ludden. Thank you. Thank you very much. We're playing Password this week with a young lady. A young lady here who's going to have a busy summer. Oh, come on. <laughs> you see, George and Betty, how they love you. Oh, yeah. Betty sure. White's going to be very busy this summer. Let's see. June in Paramus, uh, July in Dennis and Skowhegan, and August in Atlanta, right? Yes, sir. And have a good time. Betty White, ladies and gentlemen, on my right. <laughs> George Grizzard, over here on my left, starring in now... 
You know I can't hear you when the water's running. George Grizzard, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> what is this? I have a now on it. It's great if you know it. Well, let's be two more password players, shall we? Betty White, meet your new partner from Springfield, New Jersey, David Hardy. Hello, David. George Grizzard, meet your new partner from Dearborn, Michigan, Marie Felix. Hello, Marie. David, what keeps you busy? I'm a graduate student at the New York University School of Business. Well, oh, congratulations. Thank you. Marie Felix, are you enjoying your visit to New York from Dearborn, Michigan? Yes, I am very much. I'm interested in design, interior design, so I'm really excited about New York. Good. Be, over, be sure to see the CVS building. It's got a lot of interesting design. <laughs> Here you go, Betty White. All in Ge black. <laughs> George Grizzard, new word, we'd like you to see it. The password is horseshoe. Ten points, Betty. Um, um, lucky strike. Lucky strike. Nine points, George. Uh, pitching. Pitching. Five seconds, Marie. Bird. Pitching bird. No, out of left field, those are pretty hard clues. Eight points, Betty. Um, Five seconds. Blacksmith. Blacksmith. Horseshoe. Yes. But it's a good thing you didn't. It didn't work. <laughs> Eight to nothing. All right, Marie Felix and David Hardy. Marie, you'll start, so I'll give it to you first. There you go, David. As they look at it. The password is ladder. Ten points, Marie. Step. Stare. Stare. Nine points, David. Painters. Ladder. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Step ladder she was going for. That, too, is a hard first clue, I would think, to respond to properly. George. As they look at it, we'd like you to see it. The password is dunce. Ten points, George. Fool. Clown. Fool clown. Nine points, Betty. Dummy. Dunce. Yes. I don't think that'd have worked on the first clue, though, George. Dummy wouldn't have worked on it. Well, that's well when you're in the second position. I love that. And not always. Sometimes you can get beat with a ten pointer. Though, I'm just right? trying to make excuses for losing <laughs> all. Take all yeah. the fun out of winning. No, no. Let's play the lightning round. Nobody cries. You ready? Yeah. One minute. First word. Go. Uh, Kodak. Camera. Yes. Um, <laughs> um, um, material. Cloth. Trees. Wood. Right. Yes. Um, game. Password. Mallet. Croquet. Yes. yes. Uh, uh, grown up. Adult. Yes. Uh, sweet. Clean. Uh, floor. Broom. Right. Yes. Very good. <laughs> In 26 seconds. By golly, David, you did it in 26 seconds, and David Hardy has just won $350. <laughs> Marie Felix, you may still win some money. David, change party. We'll play your second game with Marie here. We'll return in a moment right after this word. All right, we have the ladies now competing against the gentleman. This is Marie Felix. I've been mispronouncing her last name with Betty White. George Grizzard and David Hardy over here. You start, George. That's White. White. Yes, I know about White. <laughs> the password is me. Ten points, George. I. Myself. Myself. Nine points, Betty. You. Me. Yes. yes. Oh, boy, we've got You had a choice, and uh -huh. you picked myself. Oh. I picked the wrong did, choice. No, did, you you <laughs> did you think of me, David? Mm hmm And you just took the other alternative. All right. Marie and David have the word. We'd like you to see it. The password is subtract. Ten points, David. Add. Subtract. Yes. Yeah. Don't, don't think negatively, George. Ten to nine. 
Okay, here you go, Betty and George. Friends. The password is escort. Ten points, Betty. Um... Date. Male? Male? No. They're the best kind. <laughs> Nine points, George. Gigolo. Five seconds. There goes your time. Mate. Nope. Eight points, Betty. Give you 17. A company or companion. Companion? Seven points, George. Give you 17. A company. Five seconds, David. Here goes your Dang. time. No. Six points, Betty. Um, conduct. Escort? Escort. When did you get it, Marie? Right in between. <laughs> right in between, right after you said the last one. All right, David, watch out. They have 15 over here. They can't win, but they can go awfully close. There you go, Marie. Friends. The password is shuffle. 10 points, David. Mix. Stir. Stir. Nine points, Marie. Cards. Shuffle. Yes. <laughs> She's playing this like she does gin rummy, I'll tell you, George. Okay. I'm start running around looking on the desk. <laughs> 24 to 10. As they look at the word, we'd like you to see it. The password is lounge. 10 points, George. Watch out, they can win on this. Cocktail Lounge. Yes. Now you got 20 to 24. I like the way you play it. It's been a good week of good game playing. 20 to 24. Here you go, Marie. You can win on this. Marie Felix, David Hardy, friend. The password is rink. 10 points, Marie. I'll give you the game. Ice skating. That's sorry. That's two words. Nine points, David. Skating. Rink. Rink. Well, the men came up from behind. I'm sorry about ice skating. He was awful fast with that finger there, wasn't he? Yeah. All right. You did, but you understand the rule mm -hmm. about the, about the wildlife saving ice skating was ruled out. David, you have just won $100. George, you've won the game. You're going to play the lightning round. Thank you, Alan. You feel better about everything? <laughs> Fine, and things are picking up. Yeah. All right, let's play the lightning round now here in one minute. Here's the first word. Go. Airplane. Wing. Uh, um, fan. Propeller. Yes, sir. Um, tea. Coffee. Uh, pot. Kettle. Yes. Very good. Um, lake. Stream. Smaller. Bay. Uh, uh, Walden. Pond. Very good. Uh, adult. Child. Very good. First. Last. Oh. In 30 seconds. You know, you not only did it, David, in 30 seconds, you have won now a total of $700. Marie, we have a fine gift for you. You don't have to leave. I just want to comment on the clue for Pond, Walden. It seems to me that that, that is a wonderfully literate response, but it works. It works because everybody is reading this now. It's a good book to read these days of hectic rushing around. You like that book, don't you, Betty? Thoreau's. What are you looking at? I was just wondering what you'd say if I said no. Of course I like it, but I mean, it's just that sort of a rhetoric way. I was just wondering. It's kind of a silly question. No. Well, I had a few minutes to kill. I just thought I'd... <laughs> <laughs> Why did I ask her anyway? I don't know. George, you like the book. I like it a lot. Alan. David, all right, good, thank you. You, you like the book? I've never read it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was waiting to hear. All right. You got the response anyway. You heard of the book. You know who wrote it? Thoreau. Thoreau. That's right. Walden Pond. All right. Well... Hi, I'm Regis Philbin. I'm Pat Sajak. I'm Meredith Eard. I'm Alex Trebek, and you're watching GSM. 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 Play every day. Contained within the password. Now, that rule seems to be the most complicated of our rules, or the only complicated rule in this game. You understand that, 
Well, you understand that, George? Yes, Alan, I understand that, and I will explain it to Betty later. You will explain it. But you may use grandmother as a clue for grandfather because neither one contains the whole of the other word. You follow that? They don't even like each other. <laughs> you cannot use a word that is contained completely within the password, but you may use words that have common... Does everybody understand that rule, or am I just uh, repeating it unnecessarily? I'm glad to hear it, Alan. All right, everybody happy about that? Thank you, Marie Felix, for playing Pastor with us. It's been a pleasure having you here. David Hardy, good luck to you. Nice to have had you here. To see you all tomorrow, of course. Until then, this is Alan Ludden saying the Pastor today is gentle. If you have pets in your home, remember the magic of gentle hands. Pets always respond to kindness. So long, see you tomorrow, I hope. <laughs> Each of our contestants on today's program will receive a new smartly styled red core rechargeable portable tape recorder with solid state dependability and a storage compartment for accessories. This has been a Mark Goodson, Bill Codman production. The contestants on this recorded and edited program were selected and interviewed in advance. <laughs>